a fully customizable mechanical keyboard for Linux? Consider me intrigued. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a fully mechanical customizable keyboard that you can actually use on Linux. Despite the hat and the beard, this is not Jeff from Craft Computing. This is definitely Robert, I'm sure. So here now I am unpacking it. Uh, the packaging was really good uh, for this, uh, which is important since it's really heavy, but it did come in really good packaging, so I appreciate that. I took out the box and immediately I did notice it was very heavy. The materials are aluminium and brass, so it is heavy. Once I took it off, I was greeted with this foam and then all of the components inside. There was a bunch of documents and there's loads of extra cables. I lifted out the keyboard and I was like, oh my God, this is pretty heavy. Underneath the bottom, there was a bunch of keycap and uh, keyboard adjustment tools. Uh, I've never actually had any of these kind of tools. This is my first mechanical customizable keyboard. So this was really nice for them to include. So now I'm going to take the keyboard out of the bag. Immediately I am uh, struck by the construction quality. It's very heavy, everything feels very industrial. The keycaps and everything were really smooth. The entire build quality is just quite something. Uh, it's really, really amazing. I turned the background noise on this particular clip just so you can kind of get a feel for when I'm pressing things and uh, moving it around just to kind of maybe get a better understanding of the weight and the keys. Uh, and in the next clip, I definitely recommend some nice headphones uh, because I will do some typing for a few seconds so you can hear how these brown keys sound like. Now, the website actually has a link to VIA, which is the QMK configurator, uh, and it's a web-based one, but you can download it as well as a piece of software, but I've been using the web one, uh, and inside of here, you can customize tons of features. Uh, there's all the layers in here. The switch actually on the back uh, is between layer 0, 1, and then 2 and 3. It says Windows and Mac, but you can use it for whichever one you want, really. There's tons of options in here, uh, settings for changing various stuff about the configurator and the keyboard itself. You also can uh, change and drag around all of the buttons. You can configure the lighting in here, media keys, macro keys. Uh, this software has so many features. You can alter the brightness settings, the patterns, so you don't have to use the um, hardware keyboard uh, shortcuts. You can use this software and it stores all of the settings inside of the keyboard. So that's really cool. I love the fact that it has macros. That's gonna be really useful. Uh, and also you have a bunch of features in here for dragging and dropping around. It's just an incredible piece of software. This works on quite a lot of keyboards. 
and the software itself has also a uh, key testing facility which is uh, really nice so you can make all your changes and then test it inside of here so that's a really good feature to have also So I hope the video was super helpful for you. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content from me. I did enjoy using the keyboard. I am very impressed with it and definitely you should check out Keygron for any QMK type of keyboards. Really good, fully customizable on Linux. Um, I'm very impressed by it. So uh, yeah, this is my new keyboard from now on and I'm sure over the coming months and years I will get a lot of use out of it and I'm gonna have fun customizing it. But as always, this is Robert Meisen, and I will see you in the next video.